Red Bull West Ham, could Red Bull create a Premier League challenger? For cheap, good quality football jerseys, go over to www.jerseyfifa.com We'll have the new season's jerseys available from just $25. A link will be left in the description. And if you use the coupon code AlantisFootball, you'll get 5% off. So West Ham currently have the second biggest stadium in terms of capacity in the Premier League and are most likely considered in the top 10 biggest football teams in England when taking into account their history and supporter base. However, success on the pitch has been limited and by limited, I mean West Ham have been fucked shit for the last three decades. And other than the World Cup in 1966, which they legitimately won, they haven't won anything of significance apart from the FA Cup in 1980, which saw them beat Arsenal 1-0 in the final, with Trevor Brookin's stooping header being the only go of the game. So in many ways, like Leeds United, Nottingham Forest or Newcastle United, West Ham could be considered a sleeping giant of the English football game, which would obviously make them an attractive prospect for a big money foreign takeover. The name that has been linked with West Ham most heavily in the past year has been Red Bull. Now before I get into a potential Red Bull takeover at West Ham, what exactly does Red Bull's football model look like? But before I get into that, make sure if you enjoy the video, give it a like, share it and subscribe to the channel by clicking the icon in the bottom right of your screen as if this video does well, I may do some more videos on West Ham and I'll also be doing a tactical analysis of the Manchester United West Ham game on the weekend as well so you won't want to miss that. Also if you're a West Ham fan, check out my friend Joe Collins' channel, he has a West Ham FIFA career mode that you might like and a free kick challenge with a West Ham first team player that you'll definitely enjoy, his channel will be linked in the description below as well. Well the story starts when Red Bull first bought SV Austria Salzburg in Austria in 2005, renaming them Red Bull Salzburg and then moving to buy the New Jersey Metro Stars of the MLS in 2006, renaming them the New York Red Bulls. Since then they've also bought SSV Markranstadt, a team in the east of Germany in 2009, renaming them RB Leipzig and bought the formerly known club Atletico Bragantino and renamed them Red Bull Bragantino in 2019, whilst also buying a football team in Ghana and creatively naming them Red Bull Ghana. This means that the Red Bull franchise owns five football teams across the globe, but there have been rumours that they are looking to expand further with West Ham and Bromby in Denmark being considered as potential options. But how exactly does a Red Bull football model work and is it successful? Well, Red Bull basically have a setup that equates to a production line of talent moving from Red Bull Salzburg, the New York Red Bulls and now Red Bull Bragantino through to RB Leipzig and then sold on to other clubs in Europe. However, this is not a model that only Red Bull use. Manchester City's owners, the City Football Group also own New York City FC and Melbourne City FC in Australia who like RB Salzburg and the New York Red Bulls are feeder clubs to the team at the top of the pyramid. Manchester City's owners are in the process of doing this on a larger scale so if you'd like to see a full video about that give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. We saw them do this with Aaron Moy who came through at Melbourne City FC and was moved to Manchester City on a free before being loaned out to Huddersfield and then in the end was sold on to Huddersfield for a fee of around £10 million. Red Bull do this in a similar but more explicit fashion. A player usually under the age of about 21 will be signed from a smaller league outside Europe's top five leagues and then will first be moved to Red Bull Salzburg in the Austrian Bundesliga and the player will then be able to develop in a competitive European league and also play either Europa or Champions League football as well. Once he has developed further, he will then be moved up the Red Bull pyramid to RB Leipzig who are playing German Bundesliga football, a much faster and harder league and competing for the Champions League positions. This allows a player to move from a decent prospect into a top level player and then can be sold on for a huge profit. We've seen this with the likes of Naby Keita going from Red Bull Salzburg to RB Leipzig and then being sold on for a big profit and players in Leipzig's first team who came from Red Bull Salzburg such as Deo Upamecano, Peter Golaschi and Konrad Lehmer moved from Salzburg to Leipzig proving the success of the model in terms of developing talents. But if Red Bull were to integrate West Ham into the system how would it change how the club is run? Well despite the rumours West Ham almost certainly wouldn't change the name of their club to Red Bull West Ham or Red Bull London as other clubs in the model have. This is because Red Bull aren't stupid, they know this would be extremely unpopular amongst fans and may even be stopped by the FA. Also, unlike other clubs in the Red Bull model, West Ham are already a big club in their own right, so Red Bull aren't going to be able to recreate the club in their image. Most likely Red Bull will just come in and be West Ham's main sponsor and the creatively named London Stadium would just be renamed the Red Bull Stadium instead. We'd also see a change in how the club is managed. They like to use a director of football model, with Ralph Raniuk being used as a director of football at Salzburg and Leipzig in the last eight years, and now being appointed as a technical director at the head of the Red Bull model. We've also seen Paul Mitchell, former Tottenham, Southampton, and now Monaco sporting director, work as the head of recruitment at Leipzig. So Red Bull do like to get the best people around in terms of recruiting players, as they look to identify talents and bring them in for the manager or the head coach to then use at his disposal, rather than having the manager or owner identify 
players to sign, as West Ham currently do. Red Bull also like managers who implement a high pressing, high energy type of game with Jesse Marsh, Julian Nagelsmann, Marco Rose, and Ralph Hasenhutl all examples. And I think it's fair to say they've been pretty successful with identifying talented managers as all four are looking to be some of the most promising young managers across Europe. This will mean that most likely there will be a change of manager at West Ham with David Moyes not fitting the Red Bull manager requirements and most likely a manager in the mode of Hasenhutl or Nagelsmann coming in. We would also start to see a greater emphasis on younger players in terms of selection. Players on the cusp of the West Ham first team like Connor Coventry, Ben Johnson and Nathan Holland would either get greater opportunities in the first team or be loaned out immediately to speed up their development. In terms of transfers, rather than signing players in their prime around the ages of 27 or 28 for fees around the £20 million mark plus, like West Ham have done with Yarmolenko, Arnautovic and Javier Hernandez over the past few seasons under a Red Bull model, they'd be signing players under the age of 24, like Christopher and Kunku, Comrade Lehmer and Nordi Mukele for around a 10 to £15 million price range, who are quality players and can develop significantly, unlike players in the latter stages of their career. This is important as when West Ham are targeting players in their prime, they can only get West Ham level players, because any player at a Champions League level is going to go to a Champions League level club. However, by signing younger talents who at that point may be our West Ham level, means that as they develop at West Ham, they can become top level players, while still playing at West Ham, which if done correctly with a number of good signings, is going to make West Ham's squad increasingly better as the seasons go on and as these players become top level players, who were also signed for reasonable fees as well. This is how RB Leipzig have gone from a Bundesliga 2 side to a side now competing for the Bundesliga title and getting to the Champions League semi-finals. Players like Erling Haaland, Sadio Mane and Naby Keita were all signed as young talents by the Red Bull sides and have gone on to become top level talents. Haaland is now at Borussia Dortmund scoring at incredible rates, 17 goals in just 14 games this season and is probably in the top 5 best strikers in the world at the moment, despite being just 20 and being signed last year by RB Salzburg for just 4.5 million pounds from Molder in Norway just last season at the start of the summer before being sold on for £70 million to Dortmund in January. Naby Keita is at Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool, one of the best sides in Europe along with Sadio Mane who was at Red Bull Salzburg before moving to Southampton. Timo Werner was another who was signed by Chelsea last summer for £15 million from RB Leipzig and even promising players still in the setup like Deo Upamecano, Nordi Mukele and Conrad Lehmer are all examples of how good Red Bull's model is when it comes to player recruitment. However, unlike Red Bull Salzburg or even RB Leipzig to a degree, West Ham may be better positioned to hang on to these players and therefore over a few seasons can begin to build a side not just to stay in the Premier League but to be competing for the European positions as the likes of Leicester and Wolves have done in recent seasons. And who knows, maybe we could even see West Ham winning the World Cup again. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video remember to give the video a like and share it to other West Ham fans as well. Uh, subscribe to the channel as I will be doing a West Ham Manchester United tactical analysis. Check out some of my other videos linked in the description below and go to the comments to give me your views on Red Bull potentially taking over at West Ham.